Hello everyone. It is Saturday afternoon. Almost five o'clock. And I have been knitting this all afternoon. The second front. While the light's been bright enough. I haven't had to put any artificial light or anything on it's been hasn't been a lot of sunshine but it's been quite bright the and the light does tend to shine in through my living room window of an afternoon in the morning it's a bit darker because the sun is at the back of the house but in the afternoon it shines straight through my um, window so that's the best time for knitting this this color that's why I do things the way I do. I just do crochet and other things in the morning and anything I've got like this, especially for this black. It's best to do it in the afternoon. I'm almost finished this row and then I'll put this down and show you what else I've been doing. That's it, that's that row finished so as you can see you can see the pattern on this one when you hold it up because the light change through the holes and the black it's more noticeable. I'll put that down and I have the that's the other front the other front there. Um, the back will not take much long more or longer to do this it's quite a quick pattern to do this one I think that's why I like doing it because you only do you know the four rows with the little holes and then I'm actually doing six rows in between on the pattern I have to do four rows but I thought with this being black not really being able to see what I was doing. I thought I'd do six rows in between the rosebuds. And I've noticed something when I've done the six rows. It lines up better with the shaping. When I do it with the four rows, the shaping tends to, to go in a different place. It doesn't line up even like that. So I think if anyone's doing this pattern, you want to do six rows in between. I might change my pattern actually and make it. And then it matches up better with the the line. You have the same number of stitches. You start when you're doing the shaping. I think, see this one I had, um, I'm not sure how many stitches, but see if it was three stitches before I started the, the rosebud. Each time you do the rosebud, it's the same number of stitches. So it's easier, easier to follow the pattern. So that was just a little bit information for anyone who might be doing it if you do the six rows in between the um the thing and it does look does look all right if you look with the six i haven't got anything with the four rows in between um to show but anyway that's that turn that round and put the pieces together and I will be finishing this because I'll be getting my tea anyway that's as far as I'm going with that so I'll just put that back in the bag there I'll be doing this one next I'll put those bits in the bag and get that out <laughs> I'll just keep taking my little my little bowl here I just keep putting the bowl in the bag, something, whatever I'm knitting, I don't have to change it because I've had that one. I've got the two bowls there, but I've been using the um, the larger one. I'll be having to do another ball of the um, the black anyway, so I'll be using that. So I'll just put them away with the bowl, unless I happen to need it for anything else. But that's how far I've got with the white one. What I did last night or not last night it was yesterday afternoon i'm putting a little stitch marker in when i start knitting so i'll know exactly how much i've done because sometimes it's hard to tell 
No, that's what I did yesterday because I seen I was at my bingo last night, so I did some in the afternoon, and that was where I started where the the stitch marker is. So that was how much I did yesterday afternoon. So I'm hoping to maybe be up to the armholes. I'm not sure how far I've got on this, and I'll measure it and see. It's, it's almost 16 inches, so I have about another four, four maybe five inches to go to get up to the, the armhole for the length because this is an extra long cardigan. Maybe I'll get that done tonight, I think. And I am having a little drink, just having a drink of apple juice. I preferred orange juice, but I'm running out of a lot of things in my cupboard so I think it's time to go shopping tomorrow probably this was just a carton of apple juice I prefer orange juice but this will do and I was in my garden not actually doing any work in the garden I thought I'll just check my peas and see I've got a bag of peas here I'm having a salad for my tea and I'm going to have them straight out of the pod. They're nice, just the way they are, with the salad. So I'll probably have a couple more meals out of what's in that bag. But there's a lot of weeds growing in my garden, so I'm going to have to try to find some time to um, tidy up the, the weeds and things in my garden to get rid of them. And I was at my bingo last night, and I never won anything. Neither did my friend. I'll do a little bit of this one while I'm sitting talking because it's easier to I'll be onto this one anyway. But you know my look just seems to be right out, my friend. I've been lucky for a while, but her look seems to have gone as well for for us going to the jack. And you know, I had two baby blankets I forgot all about. I want to show you. Remember these were the baby blankets I did for my latest pattern. And I was going to do a couple of rows every day. You know, not just sitting at them all the time. And I just have not had time to do anything with them. And I just forgot all about them. But I'm going to have to start doing that. The couple of rows of the, the blankets to get them finished. <laughs> I'll put them down there. I'll just put them away somewhere and I forgot all about them. But anyway, this is what else I've been doing. Crochet this morning. I've finished the crocheting the the cover for the um the pouch, the phone pouch. I just need to put a um I forget the lady who this one's for. I think I've got my book here. Alison. This one is for for Alison, so I just have to put the lining on the, the pouch and then do what I have to do to, to fold it and, you know, do this with it, do up the sides and then put the couple of poppers on the, I always leave a long end after um, I do the thing, well that'll be other way around there actually, before I start. Yeah, I'll leave that long end there and that does stitches down that side, that long end. So that just needs to be finished. And the same lady wants a project bag, so I'm doing the one with the um, the base on the bottom. And I am using the, the super chunky that Angela sent me. I'm only using the one strand. I've used there was a little ball there that was left. I have to join on the, the other one to it. Don't know how far these go because there's not very much length in it. I don't think I wears a 
I know there's 80 meters so that's not too bad I'm not sure whether it'll just take that one I have to use another one but that's the only thing I could think of to use this super chunky for because it's too thick to me for to make any children's cardigans or anything and I'm not not keen on knitting really thick stuff like this I don't mind crocheting with it but I don't like knitting with it so that's what this is going to be I'm going to do this the turquoise and then when I go up to the top I might change and do like a band of white around the um the top for the the edge the top and for the um the handle parts of it so that is the the medium sized project bag that I'm doing for you um Alison to go with your your pouch and that is that is the biggest one I can do with the um with these base things I haven't really seen any bigger than this actually um, so if anybody wanted any bigger one than this it would have to be the base would have to be all crocheted so I could make it whatever size I wanted but this is the medium size the smaller bases I have are what I do for the the peg bags and like the children's bags I do for so that is what else I've been doing Oh, that's what I'm wondering what this needle was. It fell out of the the thing what I'm using on the the blankets. I don't know where the other one is. So that's just a little update. Let you know what I've been up to and what else I'm going to get up to. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.